Hello everyone and welcome to a new year. For our art project today, we are going to look towards 2021 and draw something that we are excited to either learn or just excited to do. So to show our pictures, we're going to draw a pair of funny glasses, like, kind of like the ones you would wear on New Year's Eve. And in the middle of the glasses, it's like we're looking ahead to 2021 and that's where our goal is. So what I'm looking forward to is learning how to make better pies. I had got a cookbook for Christmas that's just about baking pies. And so I'm gonna practice making them so I can get better at that this year. So to start off, you're gonna get a piece of paper that you have at home and you can either freehand the middle of the glasses, which means you're just gonna draw it when I show you the steps. Or what I like to do when I'm making something that is supposed to match, so two of the same shape, is I'll often make a stencil for myself. And then that way I know it will, will for sure be the exact shape I want. So on a scrap piece of paper, I'm just gonna draw out the middle of the glasses by drawing a line and then the letter U. And I wanna make sure I make it to a size where it's big enough that I have room to draw my goal in the middle. So you don't want it to be teeny tiny or you will not have much room to draw your goal. So then I'm gonna cut that out. And now I have a stencil. I'm gonna show you another way to make a stencil really quickly. If you took your scrap paper and folded it in half, you could draw a line over here in the curve. And this way your curve will for sure match. And you'll notice the folds on this side. So that's another way to make a shape that is the exact size you want it to be. But I'm gonna use this first one. And so over here to the side, I'm gonna trace one of my glasses lens. And then I'm gonna move it over just a little bit. You wanna think about how much space is normally in the middle of a pair of sunglasses or wacky glasses. And I'm gonna make the second shape over here. All right, from here, what I'm gonna do is a little above these in the middle, I'm gonna draw the letter V. And then from the tips of my V, I'm gonna do a straight line and then another one. And then I'm just gonna keep following the shape that I already drew for the lenses. So it dips down, and it goes around to the middle. Same thing over here. And then they're gonna meet in the middle, but you'll notice that I left space here for the middle of the glasses. So I didn't go all the way up to the V. Now I'm going to think about the de decorations for my glasses. On my last one, I wrote um, the year above it, but this time I'm gonna write happy on one side and new year on the other. Because I've seen a lot of those glasses sold at the stores this year. So we've got our happy, and then over here, we'll put our new year. Now you'll notice on my other example, I had put the year 2021. This was technically 2020, but because we were looking ahead to 21, that's why I, I had written that. I didn't think about it till afterwards that I probably should have written 2020. All right, I might add some stars to my glasses here and there. Now in my last example, I didn't leave a lot of room for the sides of the glasses. So if you want to draw those, you can. All you have to do is draw two lines and then the little curvy shape. So I could do that over here too, but that's not the important part of this drawing. It's more of this, this is the star right here. All right, so another goal that I have for the year 2021 is I want to, get an earlier start on making Christmas gifts because I love to make things for people. I love giving gifts at Christmas time and that's my favorite type of gift is a homemade gift, but it takes time to make 
things. So I want to get started earlier. And so that way around Christmas time, I'm not stressed when I am giving people gifts. So I'm going to go ahead and draw myself making a painting for somebody. So here is my easel with my painting on it. And then over here, I might draw my painting supplies. And then over here, I'm gonna draw a little table that has some mugs on it because I often like to go to pottery places and paint pottery for people at Christmas time. Maybe I'm painting a picture of that person for them. Maybe it's a picture of them and their pet. Here's their cat. All right, so that is my goal this year, is to make more art for other people. Now, to be finished with your project, you need to add color to it. So make your glasses look very wacky and add details to your picture. If you would like Mrs. Tritt to see a picture of your artwork, you can either email her a picture using your phone or you can attach it to Google Classroom. And there are directions on how to do that on your Google Classroom, or on my website, I should say. So you can see how to do that if you did not do it last time. But regardless, remember to go back into Google Classroom and click that you finished this project. So I can't wait to see what your goals for this next year are. And so work hard and do your best and have an incredible at-home art class.